hi everybody my name is Dr. Harlan Kilstein and I would like to welcome you to how to market your business on Instagram before we begin I would like to invite you to type in if you can hear me or not no point in doing a whole webinar if you can't hear me so if you can hear me go ahead and type it in I hear you I don't hear you who are you thank you so much we're getting some some yeses coming in thank you um and can you see my screen can you see my screen okay fantastic so i have a question for you and that it will help me shape this webinar which is really we can we can modify it as we go is first of all how many people here already have an instagram account if you have an Instagram account, say, have it. Just type in, I have it. Okay. Um, now, how many people, good, we've got lots of people who have it or got it. Um, how many people are making some serious money with Instagram? Anybody? We're getting a bunch of no's, maybe a little. A little okay so what this webinar is about is turning those no's into yeses and maybe a little into a lot is that okay with you guys is that what you're expecting today because if it is you're in the right place if it's not what you're expecting um, then whatever that, that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna show you what to do so what I would like from you this is a little exchange um, I'm an old teacher I've been in, in education for, I'm ashamed to say how many years, and I've been teaching Instagram and teaching people how to have very quick success on Instagram. So all I ask from you is you power down whatever things are around you, turn off Facebook, turn off email, don't text message your girlfriend now or your boyfriend, let that go a few minutes, and in return, I will give you some really solid information. This is going to be some really solid information. Prepare for um, a significant amount of, of note taking. So here we go. Are you guys ready? Just type in yes or the letter Y and away we go. Ready to take some notes? Okay. The Ys and the yeses are, are, are coming in. So here we go. Let's go. And if you, anytime you have a question, type it in and I'll get to it as soon as I can. So introducing Instagram. There are now over 400 million users on Instagram. About 76% are female. And most people who are on Instagram, and I'm talking about individuals, are using it for selfies and sharing things that they like or attract their attention sayings, photo memes, etc. But most people have no idea that it can be used effectively, very effectively for marketing. People wander around blindly, not knowing how to use Instagram, and they think, oh, it's another toy, it's another trick. But what I'm going to show you tonight is that Instagram can be a very powerful tool because there are many people and businesses that became successful only through Instagram. And I'm gonna show you some of them. Some of them, I'll admit, are kind of silly and they get like a notorious kind of fame. But many of them are, are practical businesses, the kind of business that you would like to have um, that are making seven and eight figures from Instagram. Many of these successful places are local businesses and, and, and some are national businesses, but what owes what what they have in common is that Instagram became their platform and they allowed it to take off. So you're gonna see lots and lots of businesses here. I'm gonna recommend that you follow the businesses that you see me talk about here on Instagram because that's a great way. And if you don't know about Instagram, even getting on Instagram, relax. I got you covered. We're going to cover all that. This is 
all meat, no fat, lots of info. Let's dive in. So let me introduce you to only in, only in America could people become famous like this. Meet Jen Selter. Jen is, is world famous. Uh, you see she has 7 million followers. This is, uh, is about a month ago. It's probably more now. Jen is famous for posting pictures of her butt on, um, on Instagram. Jen wears yoga pants and typically in a typical day she will post pictures of her butt wearing yoga pants in yoga poses and millions of people line up to see her butt. So where do you go with something like this? Well, she put up a, a website, jenselter.com, uh, sign up for free. Uh, but really there was more to it than just a website and collecting email addresses. She went from Instagram to fame where she went on the Today Show and taught Barbara Water, Waters how to take a selfie of her butt. She was featured in Vanity Fair magazine. She was featured in New York magazine, a major article about her. She got a fitness column in a major newspaper. She's also probably gotten a few thousand marriage proposals, uh, all from Instagram. No one knew her before Instagram. Now, I want you to pay real attention to this business. It's called Shreds. Shreds is a business, they sell supplements, and these pictures look really good. They have, they have 1.5 million followers, but notice the difference is that while they have fewer followers than Jen, they have monetized it. What you are looking here at Shreds is you are looking at a business that has literally turned into a movement with clothes and gear and shakes and supplements, they are making multiple millions of dollars and virtually all of their clients are coming from Instagram. Let me repeat that just in case you thought you misheard. They are making multiple millions of dollars with their clients coming from Instagram. Um, how many people are blown away by that? Um, or you'd like to understand the process that businesses like Shreds follow, okay? <laughs> Let me know if, if you want to see the simple four-step process that Shreds and every successful business is using. Because Unless I hear otherwise, I'm going to assume that your answer is yes. Harlan, I want to know more, and I'm going to show it to you right now. Shreds, if you go to their site, they have different landing pages that they test. The landing page is when someone clicks on your Instagram profile where they go, and the first thing that they do is they sort out, they divide you between men and women. 30-day weight loss for women, 30-day weight loss for men. Now, you would think that a business like this, like Shreds, um, would be testing. And the fact that they have this business and that they are running split, it's called split testing, with 50% um, of their site dedicated to men and 50% dedicated to women, lets you know that there are plenty of male buyers on Instagram as well. Remember I told you that 76% were, um, were female? Well, that 24% is clearly interested in what they have after looking at all of the photos of the hot bodies and people realizing that they would like one as well. Um, well, they're going to... Um, they're going to find when they come to the site that Shred splits them into men and women and treats them accordingly. So the story of Shreds is that they built a multiple seven-figure business very, very quickly. Here's what they did. 
the gathered followers, okay? You cannot do anything on Instagram unless you have followers. That's the key. So number one, you need followers. Number two is um, they converted followers into fans so that people were actually enthusiastic um, about shreds. In other words, they weren't just dispassionate people. Um, it wasn't just dispassionate people. They converted fans and followers into buyers. Now the key, and this is the really, I'll call this the delicious concept, especially after looking at some of their shakes, is that there are zero marketing costs on Instagram. You can market, you could build your business for up into a, um, a huge business. You can build a, um, a, a huge business on Instagram by, um, w without paying a single penny. Yes, now, recently, within the last two months, Instagram has expanded into advertising. And, and advertising on Instagram is great, but you don't need to. That means if, that if you're a business on a small budget, you can experience major success without ever spending a dime. And that is something you don't find anymore. Now, this is my local gym. And I want to point out some things to you that are very, very important. So here is their profile. And let's look at their profile. So number one, over on the left-hand side, see the picture of, um, her name is uh, Cecilia. Do you see the picture of Cecilia um, preparing to, to kick? So Cecilia is the owner's wife. And this round thing, this round thing that has Cecilia in the middle of it, over on the top left, that's called your avatar. That's how you're going to be known. That could be your logo, logo, logo. That could be a profile pic. But here, since this is a place that wants to push its kickboxing, then they are um, they are using um, an action shot of kickboxing. So here we go. IX3 Fitness. They've got some emoticons there. High energy group fitness and cardio kickboxing in Boca Raton. Special offer, unlimited week plus free boxing gloves for $24.99. Come have fun with us. And you are allowed one URL in your profile. One URL means you bring them to the right page that you want. Now, this is the top of their page. You can see what they've done. And on the left hand and on the right hand side, you see that they have videos. Now, on this format, I can't show you the videos, but they're using video a lot. Video is something that most people on Instagram don't use. And it's really a shame because there are so few people using video on Instagram that when you do use it, um, it's more powerful. Now, if you're saying, Harlan, I don't know how to shoot video. I don't have the fancy camera. Uh, I don't have what it takes. Let me tell you that you're missing some information here. As long as you have a smartphone, you can be a video whiz. You don't even need to shoot the video yourself. So video absolutely rocks on Instagram. So this is what a really successful profile looks like. Um, my local gym has more than doubled his business with Instagram since we started talking about Instagram. Here's what he does. Pay attention. This is gold. Okay. If you're not paying attention now, you are missing out on just one of the really serious highlights here. Really good stuff. He finds people on Instagram who are following rival gyms in the area, and he follows them. Most people follow him back and follow his feed, and they look at the pictures that he po posts. Uh, <coughs> they look at the pictures that he posts. They look at the videos that he posts. 
in a short time, fascinated by what they're seeing, they find his special offers and make their way into the gym. His classes are filled to capacity and people are turned away. Just recently on Thanksgiving Day, every single class was so filled to capacity that he sent out an email saying, we're full, we don't have room for one more. If you have reserved and you do not cancel your reservation and you show up, we regret, but we, we will have to charge you because there are people who literally want to bust down the doors to get in. And remember, there are zero marketing costs for what he's doing on Instagram. All it takes is a little bit of time. How many people here would like to double or triple their business with no marketing costs? How many people think that that's um, a good idea and, and you could be interested in something like that? Very real. This is not a pie in the sky. This is not uh, super sophisticated. This is, um, this is a local business. This is a local gym. And um, they, they don't have any magic tricks. The only magic is that they're on Instagram. So pay attention because if you think you're learning something, you're going to be learning more. Don't go anywhere. This is the kind of thing that they did. They took a picture and they split it up into um, four parts. It actually looks real good. That's the wife, Cecilia, in a pose. And they posted that in their profile. They, they uploaded four pictures and so when you look at it you see these four pictures laid out and you go whoa these people know what they are doing and you don't have to do things like this but when you have something like this in your profile something outstanding something that stales, stands out it makes people want to follow you so here's the first rule that I want you to know about Instagram is that anybody can use the same tricks that other people are doing and build a business that stands out on Instagram. Don't be set up. Don't settle for doing the same thing everybody else do, does. It's absolutely and totally not necessary. So we we skipped a step. We stopped. We didn't ask what is Instagram. The word is a combination of Insta and Telegram. Telegram from years ago, Samuel Morse and the Telegram and Insta meaning instantly. It's a fun and it's a fast way to share with your followers. The reason it's so successful is that it makes businesses real. Customers come to know, like, and trust you. And let me give you an example. Most of the people on this call never heard from me before. They don't know who I am. But over the course of this call, you're going to at least say, well, you know, the guy does know about Instagram. There was a lot of information. So contact with people, repeat contact with people, gets people to know, like, and trust you. When they make a connection with your company, it translates into sales. Those sales could be in days. Those sales could be in weeks. We are finding that people who use the same exact methods that I'm teaching here end up seeing customers start to come in in about two weeks. That's pretty much the norm. As long as you follow what I teach, you should start seeing customers in about two weeks. Oh, and the best part is there are no costs involved in using Instagram. So every customer that you do is really um, uh, the money goes a lot further because there's no acquisition cost. Now, Instagram is a free mobile application for Apple, Android, and, and yet for the BlackBerry users who, who still are among us. There are a couple of things that you need to know. Number one, Instagram is meant to be used from smartphones and from tablets. It's not made to be used from desktops. There are workarounds for desktops, 
but they're not real reliable. It's kind of like leaning over with your right hand to scratch the bottom of your earlobe on your left side. It, it, if you want to do Instagram correctly, you should have a smartphone or a tablet. People say, yes, but can I use my desktop or my laptop? And the answer is, you really should not. If this is going to um, force you into a crying fit because you really want to have your desktop or your laptop, I understand, I apologize, but I have to tell you the truth. You want to use a um, smartphone or you want to use a tablet. You must set up your account correctly to use it to make money. Facebook assumes that the normal way for people to use Instagram is a personal account and it's linked to your Facebook account. But most people who have a business want the account in their name of their business. So you need to set up your account differently. What you want to do is you want to build targeted relationships on Instagram. People have this false belief that it's about numbers and that you need lots and lots of numbers on Instagram. So let me tell you that that's not the case. There's, there are a lot of businesses. If I could be just blunt and honest here, if you only get this one thing from me, it's this. It's that businesses, there are a lot of businesses that are very, very shady, and they want to sell you Instagram followers. You could literally have a million Instagram followers in your account within just a couple of days by buying followers. The first thing that I want to sh say is that virtually all of these followers are fake. The second thing that I want to say is having them in the account actually probably hurts your chances for success because Instagram will take their lack of response. Remember, they're pro probably not even real people. Instagram will take their lack of response and hold it against you. So by choosing to go with fake accounts, you're probably hurting yourself. So um, don't do it. Now, here is Shreds, and I want you to, to take a look at Shreds. So first of all, number one, up at the top, top left, you see that little round circle. That's your avatar. And then you see the name of the company. Uh, 20 minutes shows how long it was that this photo went up before um, I took a snapshot, a screenshot of it. And here you have the girl, and she's got her six-pack abs showing. She's wearing a sh Shreds gear, her T-shirt, her, her exercise pants. She's got her water thing or shake jug there. She's got, in the background, her shred supplements and her shreds bag. So this gal, uh, being part of the shreds army, is she's ready for action right now. Okay, they got that model. She's there. And I'm sure everybody knows that if you join shreds and you uh, put things together and you look like that, well, you're automatically going to... Um, you're automatically going to look like her, I wish. Pay attention here. There are five buttons down on the bottom. We're about to talk about those five buttons, and let's find out what they are. So here are the buttons. Number one, on the left is the home icon. This includes images uploaded by people you are following. So if, if you're following people, you will see them on your home icon. If they are following you, you will appear on their home icon. Next, explore. This shows you posts from people that you don't follow. So this is where you can use this to target people or hashtags to follow. The next one is share. The middle one that's where you create your own Instagram it opens your camera now Instagram also gives you the option to upload 
your own photos in case you want to take it live. And it gives you 20 filters and customization tools. So this is all um, stuff. Um, we have a question here. Do you need a website to promote your business? Well, that's a really good question. If you are an affiliate and you want to make money by promoting someone else's business, then no, you would put your affiliate link in your profile. But if you want to build your business, your own business, then you're going to need a website on Instagram. The next one is the news. This tells you who's following you, um, what's, what are the updates to your account. And the final one is where you edit your profile. And that, of course, is super important <coughs> because that's where the magic starts to happen. Um, so those are the buttons. It is not hard to use Instagram. It's actually quite easy. Right here, I opened up, and um, the, the, my first post is from another offshoot of Shreds. It's called Shreds Results, and they're offering a free gift, um, holiday eating guide. And they say, if you want it, um, go ahead and... Um, and, and post. So Shreds has their Shreds results. They have um, their Shreds results. They have Shreds women. Um, and um, they, they use a lot of photo memes. I'm looking at a photo meme that says um, get rid of the love handles. And they have a woman with, in their definition, a, a little bit too much um, skin on the side. They have Shreds Kitchen. So they're planning on going from a seven or an eight figure business um, to much, much larger without spending any money. And that's really um, a nice way to, to do that. Okay. I see another question has come in. Is there a slide that shows what you are currently turning talking about yes that was the one right before us right there okay these are the buttons that we are talking about down on the bottom okay there it is so let's go ahead and go a little further so here's how you get started here's my account I was out at Antelope Canyon in um, in Arizona and I saw an amazing picture and took it up and here's how you get started. If you don't have Instagram yet, go to the App Store on your iPhone or iPad or the Android Store. Um, download and install it. Now, here's the interesting thing. Here's the trick. I don't want you to get caught by this. If you are on an iPad, you have a choice of iPad apps or, um, or iPhone and iPad apps. Instagram has not made a separate... Um, a separate app just for iPad. So you have to look for the iPhone or iPad apps in order to find it. Download it and install it. Sign up with either your Facebook account or your business email. Instagram allows you to have more than one account. And as recently as today, Instagram is now allowing switching between accounts. So you want to make sure that um, if you have a home account, a personal account, I'm sorry, and you have a business account, post in the right account. So connecting on Instagram. Your profile is the most valuable piece of real estate on Instagram. Now, Instagram marketing is much more subtle. You don't grab people and shake them and say, buy this right now. Uh-uh. What you do is you post photos or videos that inspire people. And by inspiring people, you make them want to follow you. And by inspiring people, you make them want to buy from you. So it's not traditional advertising. People don't want stuff that's in your face. They want something that literally is a much more gentle form of advertising. So if you're used to shouting at people and dragging them in, 
like a certain car dealer not far from me, that Instagram is not for you. People have to seek out who you are, okay? You can go, you can follow them, they will follow you back, and they make a decision, a split-second decision. That's why you have to get your profile correct. They have to decide to follow you back. When they do follow you back, they are highly motivated and very likely to buy. And in your profile, that's where you add your URL for your website or your affiliate offer. Now, people ask me all the time, can I use Instagram for network marketing? And the answer is yes. There are no restrictions of that. Now, Facebook does not like network marketing or MLMs very much. But there, Instagram is, is new on the scenes, and there are no rules about it whatsoever. I personally know somebody who is making, who is a network marketer, who is making 80K a month from Instagram with zero marketing spend. Just in case you didn't hear me, $80,000 in network marketing with zero marketing spend. That is some serious money, okay? So um, you, can, you can get money, you can get, you can get business or traffic to any, um, any site in the world. There is virtually nothing that cannot be sold on Instagram as long, of course, as it's legal. Um, here, once again, is IX3 Fitness. Now that you've learned a little bit more, you see their avatar, you see they're using video. Now here, in the center picture, which I didn't talk about, they're doing something traditional in weight loss that's called a before and after. It's a very, very popular thing. It's as old as the hills, Yet people still do it, and that's the girl holding out the jeans to show how much weight she lost. On Facebook, you would not be allowed to do something like this. Facebook hates before and afters. However, Instagram welcomes this at this point. That's why you can't delay on Instagram. You want to get going right away. And this guy, remember, has doubled his business, even though he's only got a couple of thousand followers. That's why I say it's not about numbers. I have met people who have two million followers and say, Instagram doesn't work. And they look at me as if I'm crazy. And they say, but I have two million followers. And if my point is, if they're not buying, you have two million followers of the wrong followers. So um, that is, um, that's, that's my point there, um, that you want to have the right followers. It's not just all about, it is definitely not a numbers game. And if you, that's where most people make their mistake. So here's how to crush it on Instagram. Make sure you're paying attention. Number one, Design a powerful bio that makes people want to get to know you. Hint, know the keywords to reach them. Know the right hashtags for your ideal followers. Use custom hashtags for your business, but don't use silly hashtags. You see people do this all the time. I don't think it helps at all. Like hashtag, I'm so glad you made it to the webinar today. There's nobody using those hashtags. You're just wasting effort. Maybe it's cute or, or not, but I assure you, you aren't going to see a single dollar come out of that because of that hashtag. Like, comment, and engage. Interact with others, and they will interact with you. Be genuine. Don't put up any false fronts, especially on Instagram. Be consistent. Post on a regular basis. This is not um, this is not a um, 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 this is not a um, uh, a hit and run thing. Okay, so we have one of my friends, um, Rada, is on the call, 
and she says, I tried to change my website address on my profile to a specific page with a sale item, and Instagram said it was invalid. Um, I don't know what it was or appeared on that page, so it would be really hard to say. Um, since you know me, why don't you message me and I'll take a look at it and see what about that page they might not like. Um, I would simply just try it again, or I would just copy everything over to one page and give it um, a different um, URL and see what happens. It's very easy to copy a website page, take about five minutes, and then you would have a different um, URL to send them to. Okay, very, very simple. Okay, now, um, use high visual standards for your photos. If you have a smartphone, you probably have everything that you need to take good photos. Um, you don't need anything more than that. These photos are, um, um, you should be able to, everything that you saw, uh, for example, on my trainer's site, all of those were taken with his iPhone. You don't have to go out and run and get any special equipment. If you have a smartphone, I assure you that, um, that that's enough. So here's some more Instagram tips for you. Um, number one, um, be human and real. People really do want to connect with you. Number two, use local hashtags if your posts, if you have a local business. So for example, my friend would put hashtag Flagstaff because she has a local business. This is the best way for people to find you locally. So you would figure out what your best hashtags are and post them. But the one, the product that you're selling probably, or the name of your product, probably at this point isn't going to be something that people are searching for yet. You can form partnerships for giveaways. Contests and giveaways can help you grow your list at lightning speed. Next, use a call to action. We call that a CTA. Tell people what you want them to do. It's like the old Bill Cosby line. I hate quoting Bill Cosby these days, but the old Bill Cosby line where they're putting the kids to bed and he sends them to go upstairs and take a shower and use soap and turn on the water. And he says, if you don't tell kids to turn on the water, they'll just wander around all day and never know what to do. So if you don't tell people on Instagram what to do, they're not going to do it. Tell them to like. Tell them to leave a content, comment. Tell them to tag a friend. I want you to know of the things that I'm mentioning on these, these pages, every single one of them will help you grow your business in record time. The fastest one is probably contests. Um, probably contests. And then send direct messages. If someone is engaged with you and they are repeatedly liking your stuff, you can send them a direct message. But don't spam people. There is no bigger turnoff than spamming someone you barely know, you don't have a relationship with, and saying to them, bye, bye, bye. That is something they absolutely do not want to hear. So don't do that. So I want to share with you something about cutting through the junk. You may not know it, but I have a, a site. It's called the Doggington Post. The Doggington Post has become the top dog news site in the world. I have two sisters working on the site. Our site is so popular that in the past 24 hours, well, by posting a really important news story, um, we've had well over a million people come to our site in the last 24 hours. We are considered the authority on in the, in the dog world. And the technique that we used to build the site is no secret, I'll share it with you. It is called curation. Curation means that we, um, Curation means that we get people um, to come to our site by featuring news stories 
that um, that people might not see in anywhere else. And um, so last night we posted one of those stories at about 8 p.m. And so far we've reached over, looking at the numbers, um, we've reached probably somewhere between uh, 1.2 and 1.3 million people. And the technique that we use is called curation. Um, um, and curation means we are careful to select only the best material. We curate, like someone in a museum. Our readers know that if it's dog news, we're going to carry it, if it's important dog news. Now, we receive dozens of press releases every single day. We never carry them because it's almost never important dog news. As a matter of fact, I can't think of a single case where any of those press releases um, were ever carried. Now, curation works on Instagram, too. So your followers value your content and know what to expect. So this means that you don't, and I know that there are people who teach otherwise, trust me, don't mix pictures of your kids with your business. If you're a realtor and you sell homes, don't post pictures of your dog unless your dog is posing in front of the, uh, the new home or peeing on their mailbox or something like that. The bottom line is, your people are following your business because they want to know more about your business. I know someone who is a marriage therapist and he posts pictures of his hairy legs when he's working out in the gym. Now a lot of people may be turned on by his hairy legs, but if people people aren't going to come to him as a marriage counselor because he posts pictures of his legs, I suspect that he loses more people than he gains. You need to give the people what they want. That is curation, where you select content and you don't throw everything at everybody. So what do I post? This is gold, ready? This should give you a lot of ideas. Number one, if you're a realtor, post pictures of the houses that you're selling. Post individual rooms in the house. If you're a fitness trainer, well, you saw what Shreds is doing. You saw what my gym is doing. Post videos, post before and after pictures. If you're a florist, show some of your arrangements. Get some people to agree in exchange, maybe a discount for them to pose at the door receiving um, flowers. Nothing like that. Um, show your artistry. Show what you can do. Massage therapists. Post some inspiring quotes about the body and, and feeling good. Restaurants should be easy. Show your recipes, show your ingredients, show your chef, um, show your waiters, introduce people to them, make people feel that they're part of your restaurant. If you're selling supplements, um, inspire people to use them. Uh, promise them a better life as long as you can deliver it. Um, and, and show people, you know, happy with having used your supplement. Jewelry. Tiffany is one of the biggest um, users of Instagram. They've grown their business tremendously because they're posting some really good things on, on Instagram. Dog training. Uh, show videos of a dog sitting down, rolling over, playing dead, playing catch, um, coming when called. If you're a contractor, show some of the jobs that you've done. Show things in pro progress. If you've redone a kitchen for someone, post pictures of it. If you're a school and you have, um, uh, and, and if parents have given permission to post uh, pictures of their kids, show classes, show activities, show student projects, post, post, post. Cosmetic surgeons, before and after pictures, work like crazy. Juice bars, show your recipes. Show crowds waiting to come in and buy. Let people know what you have on that particular day. Yoga teachers, lots of yoga teachers on Instagram. Show poses, inspire people. Share uh, teachings from, 
um, from the original sources. And if you're a holistic practitioner, share information about what you do. What you do. If you are a nutritionist, if you um, work with skin care, um, share what you do on a regular basis, but make sure that you have a separate account. Don't lump everything in together. Now, someone said the question was, well, how do you switch accounts? And the answer is, um, up until right now, currently, Monica, the number one thing that you need to do is you need to sign out and sign in. Facebook is now experimenting on the Android platform first, where you're just going to be able to switch different accounts. That will be coming on the iPhone too. Give it a month or two. But as of right now, if you're on an iPhone, you need to sign out and then log back in with the other account. Um, but um, that will be changing very, very soon. Um, what would you post for a job center? First of all, I would inspire people with really interesting quotes about working and jobs and, and so forth. But then I would go a little bit further and let them know, post pictures, looking for, etc., and your URL. Um, Here's what we're looking for today. We have a job for, and believe me, people will be all over it. So the bottom line is, this is the secret to Instagram. So what do I do next? It's four steps. Number one, find your target market. Number two, get them to follow you. Number three, engage with them. And number four, sell them. Those are the four secrets to Instagram. Now, if you've learned something here and you think that you might want to go further with me, you might want to learn, um, want to become an Insta, uh, Instagram wizard, I offer a course called Insta Curation. It's a six week course teaching you how to sell on Instagram. That's the ultimate part, selling. If you follow the course, you should start seeing noticeable increase in followers within days or a week or so, and you can start making sales in, in about two weeks is what people are reporting. We are now in the most sales intensive period of the year. Between now and Christmas is going to account for the majority of many businesses' sales. Um, I'll show you how to, the correct way to open the account. It's not what they want you to do. How to set up your profile so you should sell. What to write in your company bio. What you should post and what you should say about your posts. Here's one of the keys, how to target people to follow on Instagram. Discovering people, making connections. How to build your brand on Instagram with power hashtags. How to sell on Instagram. Power partnerships, getting the right photos for selling purposes. The secret almost no one is using that makes Instagram a hundred times more powerful. The Facebook Instagram connection and what you need to know. Much, much more. All about social selling, apps that make Instagram rock, how to build your tribe, a Facebook group for discussion so you can follow and support one another and a special bonus session, advertising on Instagram, which has become oh so easy. There are so few businesses advertising on Instagram that if you do, your advertising will bring you a higher ROI than just about anything you've ever tried. I invite you to join Insta Curation now. If you join, there's two weeks where you can decide whether you like it or not. If you don't like it, we'll give you back your money. Um, Normally, um, there's a, it, it costs $497 or two payments of $300. You get immediate access. But I have, because it's the holiday season and you've been with me on this webinar, I have a special offer for you. And to check it out, we'll go to instacuration.com forward slash webinar. And... Let's go get that link and copy it and put it in the chat box. HTTP.
slash slash instacuration.com forward slash webinar. You know, I just typed that in cold. Can you test that and see if it works for, for you? instacuration.com forward slash webinar. This is the lowest price. Most people pay the $4.97, um, and that's a savings of $103. Today, it's just $397. You're saving $203, or you can do payments, whatever works best for you. You have a two-week guarantee. If you don't love it, um, let me know, and we'll refund your money, and it costs you nothing. But seriously, folks, if you go through this, um, you can make in that period of time between now and Christmas far more than what you would spend. So go ahead, check it out, Insta Curation. If there are any questions, thanks, Martha, for letting me know that the link works. Um, do you have any questions about anything that we covered today or the course specifically about your business? I'm here to help you. So go ahead and type in your question, and let's see what we can do. Okay, someone's asked me, how is the course delivered? When you sign up, you are taken to a membership site, and you are given two videos right away. The two videos, you can watch them one right after the other. Um, they show you how to get your account set up correctly and what to start doing. So, um, and then next week you get another one. By that time, you should have already started growing your followers and be ready to start making sales. And each week you get another video um, over the course of the program. At the end of the program, there is the six-week program, there is a bonus video of how to advertise on Facebook. Very powerful, very simple, but entirely optional. Now, um, Shreds is, is advertising, um, but up until recently, they weren't. Can I use this for a local junk removal business? Sure. I would post pictures of, you know, let's say someone's room that was crowded with junk. Uh, show them a before and after, okay? This um, this really works, okay? Um, okay, Martha says, sure thing. Your curation course from a couple of years ago totally rocks. I know this one will as well. I remember when the Doggington Post was in its infancy. Yes, it was. It started February 2012, I think. February 2012. It's still a puppy, but it's outgrown its kennel. Um, it's doing very well. Thank you for remembering that. Um, and, and also welcome um, to those of you. I'm seeing some sales popping in here. Uh, welcome. Um, I think you'll love it. Uh, I think you're going to do great. Other questions that, that I can help you with. I'm here to help. You've got my attention. Oh, next question. I'm a beginner on Instagram. How do I know I will be able to do it? And the answer is because many, many people who were beginners, I presume no knowledge of Instagram before. You do not have to be a wizard. I show everything, break it down, make it simple. You can go at your own pace and do what's appropriate for you. Um, E-commerce site toys. Why not? Um, Lou, if you can't sell toys now during the Christmas season, um, when, when, when do you think you're going to sell them? I mean, this is the season to sell toys. I promise you, Santa will deliver the toys on time that you post. Do you need a keyword for your name account? Ian, that is a great thing. No, you don't. You don't. Um, I'm going to suggest that you use the name of your business. I'm going to suggest that you use the name of your business. Okay, Rada says, um, I have a lot of services I offer, such as skincare consults, online classes, and childbirth classes. I'm posting all I offer on one page, and the answer is, is it okay? 
So let me tell you, first of all, number one, Rada, you are an extremely talented person. And right next to me, I am reaching for it. I have Rada's products. And Rada's, I have um, her Suka Energy Mist for energy and good space. And I want you to know that I sprayed it on me during this webinar as a little burst of energy, okay? And I have also next to me the Sweet Slumber, which I will... Um, she has a special oil that helps you go to sleep, um, and I'll be using that when I go on a flight tomorrow to help me fall asleep on the flight. So what you can do is I would focus on one thing at a time. Just like a certain friend of yours who you know, um, you know and love, if you try and do too many things at one time, it doesn't work. Um, so you can change your URL. We will figure out why Instagram doesn't love your new URL. But I'd like you to focus on one thing at a time. And guess which thing is going to make you the most money? Guess which thing is going to make you the most money in your life, Rada? And if you guess your Ayurvedic gift packages, you are, um, you are getting warmer. That's a huge market that you're in. Okay, um, should you choose to follow back everyone or you just select them? Ian, that's a great question. Um, what you want to do, if this isn't like Twitter, you know, where gurus wanted people to follow them, but they didn't follow them. There's, you know, that's all ego and has nothing to do with, um, with stuff um, important. Follow people who are following you. If they don't follow you, unfollow them. And in the course, I show you an app that makes it very, very simple. So what my local gym does is he follows people and he gives them a week or two to follow him. If they don't follow him in a week or two, he unfollows them and moves on to the next one. How would you do affiliate marketing on Instagram? Simply by posting pictures of the product, introducing people to pictures of the product and Instead of putting your link in, um, you would put in your affiliate link. Now, I show you in the course how to use links that offer tracking um, so that you can see how many times people are clicking on the links. Um, okay, Kay asks a really good question. If you want traffic to your website, should you create your account in the website name if you don't have a business name? That's a very good idea. That's what I would do. Um, okay, Rada says, thank you so much. So I would go after your gift uh, basket because I suspect that's what's going to be making you the most money. And what you want to do, Rada, is you want to um, study other businesses that have gift baskets. This huge in the um, dog business. One of my friend Jim, my friend Jim is actually running the helping run Instagram for pet gift box and there are a whole bunch of dog gift box watch what they do and you do the same and i promise you that in a relatively short period of time um, you will be complaining about having to make too many gift boxes um, do you advise apps to use in your training ian that's another good question there are a lot of people that all they do is um all they do is they teach apps, apps, and more apps. I'm not like that. Just like I believe in selecting your followers, I believe in selecting apps carefully. You don't need hundreds and hundreds of apps um, for Instagram. There are a few. Most of them are free. Some of them you pay for, but I'm very, very um, selective in what I recommend in the course. And we go into that in... Uh, both the um, in both the third session and then the last session of the course. Okay. Um, well, I want to welcome those of you who have jumped aboard. Um, if you're thinking about it, why not give it a try for two weeks? I promise you in the two weeks you will have got something out of it. If you don't love the course, just ask for a refund. Um, honestly, um, it, it, it's a win-win for you try it do it on payments if it's not showing its immediate value to you just ask us for a re refund and we'll still be friends 
um, we're, we're real people. Go to instacuration.com forward slash webinar, and we'll see you on the inside. Take care, everybody, and um, I want to wish you a lot of luck in with your business on Instagram. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.